This morning, several leading names in tech are urging California Governor Jerry Brown to make a meaningful investment in computer science and education. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey, Netflix CEO Reed Hastings, and Dropbox CEO Drew Houston are among the co-signers of an open letter. Michelle Miller shows us why it's part of a nationwide campaign to broaden access to computer programming training. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, these days, even if you're not in a highly technical field, it's likely that your work will involve some interaction with computers. That's why one former Microsoft developer is leading the charge to expand computer science education to every school. We are going to continue to write algorithms like we did yesterday to create monsters. You don't often hear sentences like that in a fifth grade science class, but today's lesson isn't taught in most classrooms. Alana Aaron is teaching her students how to write computer programs. Move another squared forward. In other words, how to write code. You guys are getting it awesome. Code is the language you type into a computer to tell it what to do. It's like a recipe or driving directions. The concepts can be taught Move offline. Forward. So this is the code you would give a computer to recreate that picture. And then applied now. online. Here, students drag and drop the commands necessary to Let's lead the angry fish. bird to the pig. You need to grab it and wait. Oh, OK. And then over here. OK. Now you need to run the program. <laughs> This is fun for you? Yes. These lessons were developed and distributed by Code.org, a nonprofit dedicated to expanding computer science education. What do you want the computer to do? Hadi Partovi is the organization's brainchild. Computers, as you probably know, are taking over the world. He believes code should be taught in every school in America. Why are you pushing for students to get on this bandwagon? 90% of our schools don't teach computer science, and this is a foundational field for the 21st century. From immigrant to Microsoft developer, Partovi says he's lived the American dream thanks to his background in computer science. He wants to give today's students the same chance. Anybody who's in technology has had an experience like me personally of having their life go from, you know, a regular life to an amazing life because of learning a skill that can basically unlock doors. In this example, your goal is going to be to move the bird to hit the pig. The program's online video tutorials are often taught by technology's biggest names. Every athlete knows that you get good by practicing. As well as basketball player Chris Bosh, who studied code in college. And celebrities like Ashton Kutcher <laughs> and Angela Bassett have shown even they can complete an hour of code. Okay. You just wrote your first program. I wrote it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Despite the support and more than $10 million in donations, real education reform has been slow coming. What is the biggest hurdle? Uh, the biggest hurdle by far is the shortage of teachers in this space. And then the second biggest hurdle is people's mindset that this is really hard and I can't learn it. But Aaron's students prove otherwise. Are you surprised at how they're taking it in? They've been so excited about it. One day, they didn't get to finish their lesson in time before lunch, and I gave them the choice to come up after they ate and finish, rather than socializing in the lunchroom with their friends, and 100% of the class came up to finish the lesson by choice. I mean, your teacher says you guys are into it. We are. It's very awesome. <laughs> So well, good. I know. It's awesome. Code.org has partnered with 30 public school districts across the country, including New York, Chicago, and Denver, to provide lessons and teacher training in writing computer code. Now, their lessons will now reach 2 million students and counting by this fall. So there is a ramp up. Yeah, That's I great. love that they're doing because I'm the one in line at the Apple help desk. <laughs> so just the fact to see these kids doing it this, this age. Do they do these courses for adults? Um, I'm not kidding. I would love to do something. Like I'm that. sure they do. They don't, but oh. <laughs> sorry. Find something else. <laughs> yeah, I like it, though. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.